This video is going to be one of the most important videos that you watch in your life. And I'm not just saying that for retention. I'm not just saying that for YouTube clickbait. But if you can lose 20, 30, 40 pounds or however much weight you need to lose, you are adding years to your life, which is pretty valuable. And all of the advice that I give you today is going to come from real life experience. I am a personal trainer who have gotten my clients results like this, this, and this. Nothing that I'm saying here is a bunch of bro science. I'm not just some random person who's lost 20 pounds, who's coming on the internet and spewing a bunch of bro science. Everything is going to be based on scientific evidence and based on shit that is actually going to work. I'm not going to tell you to cut your carbs. I'm not going to tell you to water fast. I'm going to give you sustainable habits that you can stick with for the rest of your life. So without further ado, let's get into it weighing yourself daily there have been a bunch of studies that have proven that people who weigh themselves daily lose more weight and keep it off because when you weigh yourself daily you create an accountability system with yourself and you'll naturally make better decisions throughout your week throughout your days because you know that you're weighing yourself daily people who struggle with saving money probably don't look at their bank accounts that much but if they were to look at their bank accounts they would probably save more money just like if you were to weigh yourself daily you would lose more weight i recommend weighing yourself in the morning after you go to the washroom before your shower and keeping your weigh-in times pretty consistent that way you can have the most accurate reference points one of the things that i have my clients do is weigh themselves daily so that we can make sure that they are moving in the right direction whether they're bulking or whether they're cutting but the more data points that you have the better decisions that you're going to be able to make and the better that you're going to be able to look lifting weights the beautiful thing about lifting weights is you're going to build more muscle so naturally you're going to look better i don't care what anybody says but, but no girl is going after the dad bod or the skinny dude you got to build some muscle not only for aesthetics but it's going to be more important as you age to have that muscle tissue as well as the bone density to live a long healthy life if you do not lift weights you will age much worse and you're not going to be as strong you're not going to be as flexible and it's just not going to be a good time and on top of all of those benefits you're also going to get the benefits benefits of a faster metabolism. When you have more muscle mass, you burn more calories throughout the day, which means you can eat more food. And a person who has a bunch of muscle mass versus a person who doesn't have a lot of muscle mass, their metabolism is vastly different. And the person who has more muscle mass is in a much better position to burn fat. Tip number three is 10,000 steps per day. If there was a pill that you could take that would make you live longer, that would make you burn more fat, that would relieve your stress, People would pay a lot of money for that pill, but the good thing is you don't actually have to pay any money. All you have to do is get your step counts to 10,000 per day. 10,000 steps is a general recommendation, but it's honestly super useful for the majority of people because the majority of people are sat at their desk all day. They're very sedentary and they're not burning very many calories. And walking is one of the best exercises for longevity, for heart health, and just for overall mobility. I think a lot of times people have a misconception that you need to go and do a bunch of high intensity cardio sessions. You need to sprint on a treadmill. You need to sweat a bunch to burn fat. But the truth is walking is a much better choice for the majority of people because they're going to be able to recover much faster. It's much more accessible and it doesn't matter if you're 20 or you're 60, you can walk. The next tip is to eat more food. And I know what you're thinking. How could I possibly burn more fat by eating more food? This Big Mac from McDonald's is 500 calories. This is also 500 calories. Now, which one do you think you're going to be more full eating the second one they're the same amount of calories but you're eating more food with the second choice and if you can practice choosing foods that are high in volume and high in nutrients and vitamins but low in calories then your fat loss process your fat loss journey is going to be so much easier a lot of people like to refer to this process as volume eating and when it comes to volume eating the more protein that you can get from lean sources the better off you're going to be because when it comes to proteins fats and carbs proteins are by far the most satiating meaning they will make you the most full based on the law of thermal dynamics could you technically lose weight just eating mcdonald's yes is it going to be exponentially more difficult than choosing nutrient-dense foods that are low in calories absolutely make it easier on yourself by practicing volume eating tip number five is to find an accountability system whether you want to hire a personal trainer like myself to hold you accountable on a daily basis give you the kick in the ass when you need it and to motivate you on a daily basis or you just have a workout partner that you're working out with every single night the more accountability that you have the better results you're going to get and the more fat that you're going to burn i'd like to believe that we're all self-motivated individuals who are all ready to grind and who are all pushing 
pushing to become the best version of ourselves. But the truth is, it's a lot harder to get to where you wanna to get to if you don't have a support system, if you don't have a community, if you don't have a network. And I understand a lot of people are just simply not in a position where they can hire a professional to help them, but you don't need to hire a professional. You can tell your spouse that you're going on a fat loss journey and ask them to hold you accountable because it's very important to you. You can tell your best friend, you can tell your parents if you're still living with them. But if the people in your life know that you're on this mission, then they're gonna be much more likely to support you long-term. Build an accountability system find your community and make it happen. Tip number six is to find a workout program that you enjoy. I have not stepped on a treadmill in a long time. And if I have stepped on a treadmill, it is simply to film some content. The reason I don't like to step on a treadmill is because I would much rather go run outside or better yet, I would just rather shadow box for half an hour as opposed to going on a treadmill for half an hour. Because with shadow boxing, I'm actually learning a skill and I enjoy it. So the time goes by much faster and I'll probably burn more calories doing shadow boxing because I enjoy it more. So the time Time goes by faster. And if I were to have to do my cardio on a treadmill every single day, I probably would not be able to maintain the levels of leanness that I'm at now. Actually scratch that, I'm a very disciplined person so I probably would be able to do it. But why would I do that when I don't enjoy it? If you don't like going to the gym, then maybe you can join your weekend soccer league or some, you can join like a soccer league or some shit if that's what you're into. <laughs> or you can play basketball on the weekends. Whatever the case may be, if you don't enjoy it and you don't see yourself doing it long-term, then you're probably not gonna be able to stick with it. So one of the things that I do with my clients is we really try to find a workout program and cardio sessions that they genuinely enjoy. I really challenge my clients to step outside of their comfort zone, try different sports, try different activities to find what they enjoy the most. And if you're a G, it's fighting. <laughs> And tip number seven is to invest in a personal trainer. This is not a pitch for you to apply for coaching or to work with me, but if you're in a position to invest in your goals, the chances of you actually achieving those goals is much higher. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend all of the information that I give to my clients is not readily available online. But what is not available online is the one-on-one -on -one support, the customization, and the accountability system, which is why my clients are able to get such amazing results. And the investment can be different for everybody. For example, if you have a hundred dollars in your name and you go online and you buy a $50 workout program, you just spent 50% of your net worth on a workout program. So you're going to be financially invested into that program. And the chances of you actually completing the program are so much higher than if you were just to find a free program because people don't value what is free. Don't make the investment so small that you're not going to care whether or not you finish the program. Invest a specific amount of money that you wouldn't be comfortable just wasting. For some people, that's a thousand dollars. For some people, that's two thousand dollars. For some people, that's $50. Whatever the case may be, invest into your goal. Whether it's with your fitness or whether it's with your business, if you have somebody who is where you want to be and they can show you the roadmap to get there, you're going to be able to get there much faster than if you just try to drive blindly. And if you want to work with me, click the first link in the description, apply for coaching. And if you are a good fit, me or one of the members of my team will personally reach out to you. We'll hop on a call. We'll talk about your goals and we'll see if you are a good fit. And I'm actually so confident that I'm going to be able to help you achieve your goals that we have a money back guarantee and please do not worry if you're not in a position to invest in a personal trainer click the subscribe button because i'm going to be dropping a lot more content that is completely free that will help you reach your goal love you guys like and subscribe and comment what you guys want to see next